So there is good news, bad news, uh, really good news. So uh, I've I've put the obviously put the saddle back on the knee, put the table back on the saddle, and I've uh, started doing some checks, and I've been uh, I've been about a week just kind of. You know, and I don't spend a lot of time every day, but a week just kind of trying to understand what's going on. And I had a square up on the table and I was checking X and Y for squareness and things just were not looking right. And I, um, luckily I didn't, I didn't, uh, take any drastic steps. I did a couple things that uh, I was going to do anyways, which was I relieved the center section of the table gib. I flaked the table gib, um, got a few pictures of that, and so, so it's time time to start practicing and getting ready to do some uh, flaking on some parts, uh, in particular the gib for the table, I want to do that, uh, I've got what I believe is a really flat surface, no, not this gib, this is one that came out of the machine originally. Pretty uh, pretty roughed up, but anyways, I'm using it just to practice. And um, so the gib I got in the machine right now is, I believe, a, a really flat surface, and I'm getting some contact uh, uh, with the oil and the sur and the uh, two surfaces. So what I want to do is I want to break up the uh, the sliding surface. And I've never really done a lot of flaking with the with the biax that I uh, picked up, so I just want to do some practicing on this gib here. It's a really, it's a combination of the, the speed of the machine and the travel, your surface feet or your feed rate, I guess, and uh, any slight change in that changes the, changes the shape. And I'm trying to make, get something that looks at least decent and, and works, so I'm going to keep trying. I guess that doesn't work. I wanted to go 90 degrees to that now. keep working on this and uh, see what we can come up with as the saying goes no guts no glory Pretty happy with the results. Hard to see in the light, probably. We'll get her stoned up and see what it feels like when it's uh, in the machine. Anyways, in the end, I was 
trying to figure out what the heck was going on and so i was getting some movement when i was when i was uh checking things and uh the bottom line, what I realized was I was trying to check squareness and I was not locking the opposite axes. So as I was pushing on the table, I was actually taking up the play in the lead screw nut and I was moving the table around. And uh, so since realizing that, and that was a big aha moment for me. Uh, since realizing that, I've been adjust. I've got the Gibbs adjusted. I've got the uh, locks adjusted, and uh, just started doing some geometry checks again. Uh, yesterday I did with just the thou indicator. So today I've got my tense indicator on there, and uh, yeah. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to check the uh, flatness or the plane on the top of the table so I'll be X and Y moving and I've just got a one two three block here to take up the um, or to null out the uh, scraping surface I don't want that bouncing around so we're at this point here maybe I'll zoom in and watch the tense indicator so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the table forward so we'll check front to back and then we'll move the table side to side and see what it looks like. So what I've got, I've got the, um, I got the uh, camera mounted to the knee on a mag base and I got the indicator mounted to the top of the column. And uh, I'm gonna swing this thing up to a zero here. And uh, actually, what I noticed in this uh, one, two, three block is that there's yeah, it's doing the same thing. There's uh, I don't know a couple of tenths taper in there. So I'm trying to take measurements in the same spot on the one, two, three block. So right now we'll just start moving the table forward. So that there is uh, zero, zero. Looks like there's about a tenth when I'm, I'm cranking the handle back and forth, the X there. And now, so the next move is I'm going to move the table. So that's about three tenths there, and the, uh, the edge of the table is actually uh, coming off the saddle now. That's how far we've gone. And I think what I'll do is, at this point here, I'll bring the table, I'll take the table backwards again and see what we get here. So I'm pretty happy with that at this point. I'm going to uh, take it down the other end and see what we got down there. I think I bumped the indicator actually. Yeah, I bumped it. I got a couple of tents there. So I'm going to keep going down to the other end of the table. or 10 inches there so I'm running out of travel I got the the tables running into the uh, surface plate at the other end here so 
Uh, looking good. I guess we can take the table back here. So that looks like about a tenth. So we have a flat plane when we're moving X and Y. That's uh that's one good thing. So now with the 12 inch cylindrical square on there, I'm gonna check uh, this direction here and then from the side as well. So we'll just uh, run this guy down here. Uh, I just realized you went out of frame there, <laughs> and that was not by design. So I'm a fair ways out with the indicator base and all the gadgets I got going here to get this thing out here, but it's running, uh, I don't know, what's that, eight tenths? So now this is on the side and I'll try and keep the indicator in frame here. So I'm not sure if you can see but I got a I got a bunch of arms and extensions to get out here so that's uh that's not the sturdiest setup. I'm going to try uh I'm going to try something a little sturdier. So like I said, I went away from the uh, cylindrical square. Um, I'm just not sure I had uh, the indicator on the um, in the right location within the cylindrical square. So I've been using the machina square. So now we're checking this direction here. And that's uh, the tense indicator there zeroed out on the back. So that's really good. That was, uh, I think that maxed out at about a half a thou, five tenths. But the good news is that was uh, positive as I was traveling down, which means the table is tipped towards the column ever so slightly. So as things wear, it, it will have a tendency to drop down in the front. So uh, it's actually a good condition to have right there. So... One of the things that I found out or noticed what was happening was uh, the square was not sitting parallel. So I've got this end down here propped up with some uh, shim stock and stuff. So I didn't ha quite have it parallel so the indicator was riding and doing some funny things there. So I got that flat now and inside of uh, that's uh, 16 inches of travel we got eight tenths there so I'm uh, I'm happy where I'm at right now um, uh, it's it's certainly not perfect but uh, it's in spec I'm gonna verify in the uh, Connolly machine tool reconditioning book on the specs for uh, each of the axes movement and uh, but uh, we're close enough at this point now where it's where it's time to uh, keep moving on.